This is what we call the peel the onion strategy. So on a problem like this, what we simply need to do is isolate the X. It seems fairly basic on this, but there's a lot that's happening to this X, right? We have it multiplied by two here, subtracted by four here, and then we have the square root of it, then it's being multiplied by two, and then it's being subtracted by four. So to go ahead and solve for X, we need to understand how to approach this, what we're looking for. Well, when we have a function, like a square root or a power or a fraction or a rational function or a sine or cosine or any whatever logarithm, whatever the function may be, there's an inside and an outside of that function. For the square root or a radical, anything that's under that radical is gonna be what we call inside of our function. So what we're gonna to wanna to do, focus on first, is to isolate that function. So right, again, the square root function is going to be our function. We need to isolate it. So what that means is we need to undo the two and the four. So which one do we choose? Because a lot of students will make the mistake and they'll start reducing these with the X because these are directly impacting the X. And no, if you think about an onion, right? The onion has many layers inside of it. And what we wanna do is we wanna work from the outside all the way in. So in this middle, here's we have the nice little X. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this outside and these are gonna be like your operations. So the first operation that we always want to be able to do is anything that we have addition or subtraction, okay? So you can see the first double here is we have subtraction of four. So the first thing we're gonna do is an add a four to both sides. So five equals a two square root of two out, x minus four. Then the next layer is going to be multiplication or division. We wanna see, is there anything multiplying or dividing by our function? Well, in this case, we have a two, so we're gonna go and divide by two on both sides. Again, notice that's two times this function, the square root of two x minus two, so those are only gonna divide out. So now I'm left with a five halves is equal to a square root of a two x minus four. Now we have obtained, now what we've done is we've isolated our function, okay? And actually we have one more here. So we've isolated the function. Now what we need to do is understand, well, what is the inverse operation of our function? right? Logarithm, exponential, we could have a, a fraction, sine, cosine. There's many, many different functions that we can deal with. Well, for the square root, the inverse operation is going to be to square both sides. So now, square both sides, and I'm left with a 25 over 4 equals a 2x minus 4. Now, you see I have an x, right? Multiply by 2, subtract by 4. So now, I'm just going to do the same thing that I did before. I'm just gonna undo addition and subtraction, and then I'm gonna undo multiplication and division, right? We're always doing our reverse order of operations. Now, I ran out of space because I was kind of writing too big, but that's okay. So I always wanna add you know, four on both sides, and then you're left with a 25 over four. The main thing I want you to understand is how do you add 25 over four to a four? Well, the main thing you're gonna wanna do is change your four into a fraction. And again, to add fractions, they gotta be the same denominator. So if you multiply by a four over four, I don't know where I read a division bar there, then what that's gonna give you is a 16 over four. So now what I have is a two X is equal to a 16 over four plus a 25 over four. Well, 16 plus 25 is going to be a 41. So two X is equal to a 41 over four. Now I can undo my multiplication by dividing by two. And remember, dividing by two is the same thing as multiplying by one half, right? So therefore I have an X is going to equal to a, what was it, 41 over eight. Hopefully this video was helpful for you. If it was, then check out the next video I have for you here.